Syphilis remains a mystery to many people, but we still see it today. In fact, the case numbers in Australia and worldwide are rising. So how do you know if you have it? Stick around to listen and learn. Hi guys, I'm Lane, your doctor on demand for fun and factual health education. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my new videos. Every year I diagnose a number of people with syphilis. Most of them know very little about it. So today we are gonna sort the facts from the fiction. Number one, syphilis is a viral infection. Syphilis is not a virus, it's a bacteria, and it's spread from having sex. In other words, it's a sexually transmitted infection. Number two, syphilis can lay dormant for many years. This is true. If untreated, syphilis can actually stay in your system for maybe up to 15 years before it causes massive complications. Number three, there are different types of syphilis. Technically, there's really only one variant of bacteria that causes syphilis, but depending on the stage of the infection, the symptoms and the presentation can certainly vary. So for this reason, we break syphilis presentations down into three categories. Early infectious syphilis, for someone who's been infected within the past two years. Latent syphilis, when someone's been infected for more than two years, and tertiary syphilis when people present up to 15 years later with a series of very serious complications. Number four, syphilis can affect your brain. Yes, this is one of the complications of tertiary syphilis. Now, thankfully, tertiary syphilis is rare now due to early testing and treatment, but when it does happen, it can be very nasty, not just affecting the brain, but also the heart and the skin. Number five, Syphilis can present with no symptoms. Yes, this is also true. In fact, up to 50% of people who are infected with syphilis won't get symptoms, at least not immediately. When people do get symptoms, it varies depending on the stage of infection, whether it's early, late, or tertiary. Number six, the first sign of syphilis is often a rash on the hands. You can get a rash on the palms of your hands, that is true, but it's not typically the first sign. Technically, the first sign is an ulcer, which occurs on the mouth, genitals, or anus. After the ulcer, other symptoms tend to occur, and they're a lot more vague and nonspecific. Things like swollen glands and just feeling generally unwell. It's around this six week mark that the rash on the soles of the feet and the palms of the hand can appear. Number seven, the symptoms and signs of syphilis will resolve without treatment. Yes, but that doesn't mean the bacteria has gone away. And in fact, this is why syphilis is so dangerous because it can lay dormant in your system, silently doing a lot of damage without declaring itself, at least until many years later. Number eight, only men can get syphilis. This is not true. Syphilis affects people of all genders and backgrounds. In Australia, we do typically see higher rates of syphilis in men who have sex with other men, but syphilis can certainly infect women as well. Number nine, Testing for syphilis is easy. Yep, definitely true. It is really easy, a blood test. All you need to do is go to your doctor and ask for a full STI check and that is it. Number 10, syphilis has no treatment. That is not true. Syphilis can be treated and cured with antibiotics. But having said that, it's not as simple as just taking a course of tablets. In syphilis, the antibiotics are typically injected. And depending on how late the presentation is, people sometimes require two or three doses. Number 11, you can transmit syphilis through oral sex. Yes, you can. Oral sex, anal sex, penis vagina sex, syphilis doesn't discriminate. It can be transmitted by any type of sexual activity. Number 12, Newborn babies can be infected with syphilis if their mother is positive. Sadly, yes, this is a fact, and it can be devastating when it happens, but thankfully this is becoming much less common in many parts of the world due to routine screening for syphilis, which occurs in pregnancy. So the take home messages. Number one, syphilis exists, and if untreated, it can be nasty. Number two, syphilis can be easily tested for and treated by simply going to your GP. Remember the saying, test early, test often. Number three, syphilis is transmitted through sexual contact and can be prevented through condom use. Number four, syphilis can affect people of any age, gender or background, but it is more commonly seen in men who have sex with other men. Now, if you haven't seen my video on genital herpes, check it out because I tell you everything you need to know, how to recognize it, what to do if you think you have it and how to treat it. Stay healthy guys, see you soon.